Okay, back again with our second card. This is going to be our technique card, although it could be a layout card too because uh, it is a really cool layout. But I thought it was a neat way to do a border. I'm calling it the border frame technique. I saw this online and basically the star of the show is designer series paper. I don't know if you've noticed, but often Stampin' Up! designer series paper has a kind of a background um, kind of pattern on one side and then a more bold kind of large uh, focal point pattern on the other side of the paper. So this is a way to use um, both sides of the paper and just a really fun easy layout. So let me grab my pieces here and again I'm using Fresh as a Daisy on Designer Shoes paper and it's on sale 15% off during the month of June so you can grab it on my website if you like that paper or any of the other ones because there's 13 different papers on sale this month only. I love it when they do the paper sales so I really stock up on all my favorites and then I have them for the whole year. Okay so these are um, let's see I'm trying to just see what the strips are. The strips are one inch so they're one inch strips so there are two of them at one by four and a quarter and two of them at one by three and of course because of the different sizes of your your paper and we're basically going to um, kind of alternate the pattern so it doesn't really matter where you start you should have two of each in your in your little kit here and of course this I, I did pick the kit without uh, the two small pieces so I must, I must have some extra ones someplace but let's grab these okay so two large pieces two small pieces and it doesn't really matter where you which corner you start in you just kind of want to go in one direction and again they're one inch strips so and you're leaving a little bit of a gap at the um, at the bottom for this the next strip to keep going around so we're going to do a large one then a small one and then we're just going to keep moving around in a circle so we get them all down there and make our really cool frame okay, I'm leaving a little tiny gap between the strips just so the white paper can show through of course you can um, do this with colored cardstock as well and it would also look really cool and then I, my center is free for my little daisy piece my little focal point and if you wanted to you could mat the focal point as well just put like a six sixteenth inch of a solid color around it to mat it and that would be nice as well it's just this is just a, such a simple design that you can make make lots of cars with these one inch strips and then oh the center piece is three by one and three quarters and of course the instructions are up in our um, in our guides in the group so you can grab them there whenever you want all right just stamping is the the last thing to do so I didn't even put anything on the inside of course you can decorate the inside if you like but we're just going to do the sentiment. Oops, a daisy, so sorry. So that hopefully you won't need to send any of these cards, but I guess you could send them as like a get well card because you could say, so sorry you're sick or not feeling well. So it doesn't have to be just oops, a daisy, sorry I made a mistake. But so sorry you're ill or feeling under the weather something fun like that you could put on the inside and I'm using Moody Mauve another one of our new colors and the, the border is featuring kind of um, the pebbled path color so that's another one of the new in colors all right so I've got my oops a daisy and I've got a little bit of my Stampin Dimensionals left over from paper pumpkin that I'm tr trying to use up today and that's just going to go across the bottom. So easy. So something to do with your scraps of designer series paper. You just need some one inch pieces. And then this is a three by one and three quarters to fill in the little gap. So really fun design. You can make a whole bunch of these really quickly. Um, add some gems and ribbon too. I didn't really add anything to it, but easy to um, pop it up by adding some extra stuff. So um, I guess that's it for this card. Hi, Pat. Good to hear you, see you, and we'll um, be back in just a second with the last card.